Blessings and blessings tribe. Good morning, buenos dias. Habari sasabui in uh, Swahili. I'm here in Venice Beach. The sun is trying to rise. Not even trying, it is. It's in process. We are rotating on this big blue dot we call Earth. Today's transmission is a reminder to all of you who have a friend or a family member or someone you love who you want to change. People grow, change, when they feel safe, when they feel loved. And so the reminder is, is to let go of your agenda and to drop back into the presence of this nowness, of this now moment, of the isness of now, and ask yourself, where am I not willing to go with my own consciousness? You see, when we have agendas, and when we um, are so desperate and so um, anxious for our friends and family to change, to them, this means that we are not loving them unconditionally. This means that we have an agenda and they will receive our love when they are doing and being what we deem to be appropriate. You see how this is a problem? Because that doesn't feel very safe. That doesn't feel very inviting. The work for all of us is to be able to hold the space of love, to be able to vibrate higher in such a way that nothing out there needs to change for me to have the experience of joy, beauty, harmony, abundance, you name it. This is the work. So if you want somebody to change, and I, I can tell you this guys, when I first quote unquote woke up, which I really didn't, I just, got some more information and you know I, I, I woke up right I, I I was very quick to try to change everybody in my family and they couldn't hear me they couldn't hear me because I was trying to force everybody to juice and to consider our spirituality different and all the other stuff and that wasn't a very nice thing to do in my wisdom in my learning over the years I learned that love is the only only solution that no matter what the question is that when I'm tapping into love when I'm being love live love give love be love when I'm being the vibration of love it is and creates a safe space for my friends my family and everybody else to have the experience of like yo Pete what are you on? And that is when we open up the space for change. Have you ever had that experience where you meet somebody and, and they're like just pure joy? And you're like, dude, what do you do? Like I get that question from some of you guys. Hey, what do you eat? What are your spiritual practices? What do you do in the mornings? Well, it's six in the morning. I'm up every day for the most part before the sun is up. Right? But you guys are asking that question because I'm being love to the best of my ability without asking you to be any different. I'm calling you forward by my way of being. And so if you want your friends, your family, your partner to have an experience other than the one they're having, you get to drop that and ask yourself, where am I not willing to go in my own consciousness? and drop back into love. They'll change when they're supposed to change. Not because you're forcing them to or not because you think it's better for them. Yes, I completely understand some circumstances people could harm themselves. Some people are, let's say, on drugs or, or you know. This doesn't mean you don't get to set standards. This doesn't mean that you let people um, just talk to you any kind of way. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that you get to set standards, 
uphold those standards, but also not need them to be any different for you to love them. Got it? I love you so much. Blessings and blessings, guys. From Venice Beach, California, I'm about to get out here and get my surf on. Um, if you're new to the tribe, new to my vibe, ooh, ooh, and you haven't seen any of my videos, please click through them. There's a lot of stuff there. Uh, I appreciate you. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful, major way.